So the recent hacker problems, right? There's, there's, this has been going on for a couple weeks now, a few weeks, five or so weeks, I would say. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of videos about it. And it's taken me a while to kind of get to this because of all the crazy stuff that has been happening. But Call of Duty has a hacker problem. Now we know this, right? We know that Call of Duty has a hacker problem. We, it's had a hacker problem for, you know, ever, right? And, they stop support on older games and usually hackers kind of take over that game and then they kind of do whatever they want. You know, a lot of times it's good hackers that kind of have fun and make mods and whatever else. But looks like now we have a larger issue on our hands, which is pretty much going to be people being able to get your IP address. Yes, that's a bad thing. But also if it's your public IP address, whatever. Um... But if they are able to get your, your your IP address, they are able to do certain things with your IP address that are not favorable to you. So they're able to stop your game. They're able to get onto your computer, uh, get personal information. That means banking statements, uh, all your Call of Duty information. I know a lot of you are just like, oh my God, not my Call of Duty information. Because that's more important than, than, than your banking stuff. You know, and they can get all the different passwords on, on, on your computer to all your web browsers. Like, it can get pretty invasive, right? So, um, I've done this stuff for a living, not hacking. I've um, been in, like, tech, in the tech industry now for probably 10 plus years. And I understand the risks, the security risks, what really asks actually is going to happen. Like, you know, even you're not safe on console. That's essentially the other thing too. So if you're on PlayStation or you're on Xbox, you're not safe. Like you are not immune to this. Like they can still get your IP address from your Xbox. They can still, from this thing, they can still get your, um, your personal information that you have on there. So if you have a card on your on your xbox or your playstation you can actually which i do you can have this this issue so with all the recent issues right that have call of duty's been doing they shit canned sm2 and don't really probably plan to do anything about that uh so i've deleted all the call of duty games on my xbox and i did that in my short which is probably i think it's coming out the day of this recording which i think is wednesday um so uh, this will be posted probably Saturday. So this, it, I want you to drop a like if you are tired of Call of Duty at, at, at this certain point. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm getting pretty tired of Call of Duty and a lot of the BS that they've been pulling on us. And um, I'm glad that I deleted all my Call of Duty games at, at, at this point. Because because we're getting to this, we're getting to the point now where Activision just doesn't really seem that they that they give a shit. Um. They, they have done one piece of redemption in the past, let's say, two two months, right? Because you, you got the Nick Merckx fiasco, you got the SM2 thing, and I was already not going to play Warzone, but since they just, they deleted Nick Merckx's skin because of, that, because of that tweet, I have deleted all the games off my Xbox. I deleted, I had like World War II, I, I had, um, I believe I had World at War, I had Modern Warfare 2019. I had uh, I had Warzone on there. Warzone 2. I had I I had a lot of Call of Duty games. Like I freed up most likely at least a terabyte of space on my Xbox. Yeah, a terabyte. I I didn't say a gigabyte. I said a terabyte. Okay. So that's the thing that I really want to get across here. So Call of Duty is not safe. All right, and this is something that we all have to kind of get used to. And, um, you know, unless they decide that they're going to actually create something better and try to right the wrongs that they've done, then we're going to be in a real big shit show soon, right? There are plenty of content creators that have gotten kicked off of older games or kicked off of Call of Duty in general because of, they got their IP address and then they, they pretty much blocked them, right? Um, the hackers blocked them. So, um, they can even, they can even permaban you too. That's another thing that, that, that I've been hear, hearing on some of these videos. Now, I don't know if that's hundred percent true, but it makes sense. If they can get your information on, on your computer, they can permaban your, your account. That's something that is very well possible and not with, without, you know, outside of the realm of possibility at, at this point. Right. So, um, they did do one redeeming action, which still to me doesn't do really shit at, at, at the end of the day. 
uh, they send a cease and desist letter to the people who were doing the hacks, right? But they also said they also sent a cease and desist letter to three other companies, including the SM2 com- com- company. Um, you know, companies that are actually trying to make a difference and trying to help out the community versus trying to line their own pockets. And uh, so that really, that to me doesn't really, you know, do much for for me. I, they can they can they can put all cease and desist letters to all the hackers they 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 want. They should have done that to the hacker community or to the hacker. Or organizations uh, two years ago when they was happening in Warzone, but that's not the point. Um, the point here is is that um, there is a very core issue with Call of Duty in general right now, and the 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 issue is the copy and paste issue, which which I've talked about many times in my videos. I even made a video a while back about just in general about how Call of Duty copy and paste a lot of their content, right? Um, there's a video I was watching, um, just before I started this podcast, I wanted to do a little bit more research so I'm not so stupid on on the topic, but, uh, Jason H gaming, right? He mentioned that they are, they copied and pasted a lot of their code. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole video. I'll show you the TikToks that, that, that I saw that kind of encompass this whole issue in a better, in a more compressed type, type, type of format. But, um, Essentially, Jason H. Gaming said that, which is true, they were copying and pasting a lot of the code from their original Call of Duties all the way through to now to Modern Warfare 2. So, Modern Warfare 2 is not safe right now either. So, that's something that you have to take into account, right? Modern Warfare 2, the 2.0, right, is right now is not safe. Like, they, they are... There is a hacker issue, and the same issues are happening that were happening in Cold War, which is how this originally, this whole topic was kind of originally um, being announced was through Cold War. That one of the more recent Call of Duties, which is Cold War, that's just two generations from where we are right now. Um, that was having the hacker issue mostly, right? Then it started to spread between all the other Call of Duties. They were it was already there, but now then it was starting to get big. People were going back farther, like Black Ops Three, Black Ops Two. Oh, I'm getting hacked. Oh, I'm getting kicked off. Stuff like that, right? So, um, this issue is not just with like older Call of Duties or Cold War or whatever. Like this is now gone to Modern Warfare Two, right? And the 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 funniest part about what Jason H Gaming mentions in in in, in this video is. Now they give a shit, right? Like because this is their actual money maker right now at the moment. Like this is their newest Call of Duty game, Warzone. It's not Warzone's not even not even safe to play at this point, right? Because a lot of the code again is reused. So their only source of income right now, not maybe not only, but one of their sources of income is pretty much getting thrown in the is getting thrown in the shit can because of these hackers. Now they're starting to take these new steps, these new leaps to kind of to to actually fix the issue, right? Because they're they're running out of money at this point, right? And that is the funniest part about this is that money is the driver for for, for these guys, and that that's something that I really want you to understand, right? Money drives these people just indefinitely. Like there's there is no back door here, right? There's no way for them to kind of weasel their way out. Now they actually have to take responsibility for the problems that are actually happening in the hacker community to the community that they're that's giving them money, right? And I I don't I I do not think that they will be able to really really get rid of this issue within the next probably couple months. Okay, they they're gonna work their ass off if they are, if they even are. They're gonna work their ass off for probably five or six months, and then this might get mostly resolved. But they're gonna work on this first. They're gonna work on the Modern Warfare Two and Warzone Two systems. They're gonna start from the cash cow, right? then drill down if they even care about anything before cold war right which they probably don't so i i would not ex- i would not expect them to have anything done on like you know modern warfare 2 2009 or you know modern warfare 3 or you know or any anything else before cold war i i, I wouldn't even expect them to even really worry about cold war maybe to like obviously stop the the IP address hacker issue, maybe, but like there's gonna be still be some lingering issues with hacking that they're just not gonna fix, right? 
Um, but back on the topic of the code. I've been saying this for a long time. They have been copying and pasting Call of Duties for I God only knows how long, right? So this issue is going to trail probably even into the next game if they don't really 100% squash it at Modern Warfare 2, like if they don't re rework their, their code, they're this is going to spill into the next Call, Call of Duty 2, I can assure you of that. All right? they they The other redeeming quality that's still not even really redeeming in, in my eyes, they started a uh, Call of Duty news uh, tw uh, Twitter account. So let's let's go to that. Uh, Twitter. Um... Let's see if they let's see if I can find it. Call of Duty News. So they started a whole new uh Call of Duty uh like news channel, right? And they the trusted source, of course. Um they joined August of 2021, right? So this was this was a few years ago, but I'm going to be honest, a lot of the stuff on on, on here is really just about <laughs> the stuff on here is mostly about like y you know um oh no is it called the support hold on it might be called the support let, let, let me double check is it called the support no i don't i don't think so No, I don't know. I thought I, he said something about a Call of Duty support page. I'm not sure if Call of Duty updates. And yesterday let's they see if, let's see if um let's see if I can find that Call of Duty. I was saying that that was like you know Call of Duty news, and I'm like, oh, that's that's like all. It's not even you know <laughs> Call of Duty updates. Oh, is this one? This might be it here. So they joined May of 2023. So this is like two. This is like a month ago. Not 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 even. This was this is last month. So so our studios may, teams have made me meaningful progress to in deploying several server related fixes and, and and upgrades over the last few weeks. We have seen significant performance improvement in several areas of concern, including crashes. We remain committed to tracking and pursuing these issues, and, and will continue to share pro progress. So. So Cold War is an area concern for you, then got it. <laughs> um, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, like, I don't hate the developers of these games, right? Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to hate on the developers of Call of Duty. So if they ever see this kind of stuff, like, I'm not trying to hate on the developers of Call of Duty. The, these guys are actually trying to make the game be better. And I can guarantee you there's some even upper management pe 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 people that are like, yeah, we should fix this now. And then there's upper, like, C-class executives that are just like, yeah, we don't really give a shit about that. You know, that's that's kind of not really our problem right now. We just, we're trying to make money. And we're trying to sell this place to, to Microsoft. So, I think, I think really, um, you know, this, this whole thing is, um, fixes patches, but drop a follow and stay up to date across all the, like, they're not really giving us real, updates right like they're being very general which they're probably doing on purpose but they're being very general when it comes to a lot of these updates oh is there only like three fucking tweets are you kidding me is that it there's only three fucking tweets on this in a, in a month that's even that's internal too like that's internal like there there's no way that there's only three tweets L look at this there's only three tweets there's these three tweets, and then there's nothing under here. This is just like this is just the connect thing. Like there's only three tweets on this, and they, they're all so ge they're all so general that like small population of players they're 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 downgrading this. We're aware of the recent reports regarding exploits in Black Ops Cold War that impact a small population of players across all platforms. They're trying to downplay this. That's what they're doing. They're trying to downplay the fact that there is an issue with these Call of Duty products, and they're trying to make it seem it's like it's smaller than anything. But now we're Modern Warfare Two. They're they're like now they're like oh god, what are we gonna do? You know, like now our cash cows are having issues, right? So 
Yeah, I mean, this is this is not even redeemable. I I, I thought there's more than three fucking tweets on on this goddamn page. Now there's only three tweets. So I mean, this is even redeemable at all. I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, they're like they're gonna really have to knuckle down to really get a lot of trust back from a lot of people. I mean, I'm hoping that after the SM2 problem, the Nick Merckx problem, like I'm, I'm hoping that you guys, that all, all of you as a community are looking at this and saying, we're not doing this anymore. Like we're not going to eat your shit and call it caviar. That's not happening. Because at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm not playing another Call of Duty game. Probably for a while, if, if, if I ever pick, pick, pick one up again. I'll watch videos, I'll do content on it, and stuff like that, but I'm not going to pick up a Call of Duty game. I'm just so bored of the franchise. I'm bored of the copy and pasting. Even their code is fucking copied and pasted. So it's like, I know for a fact that their game has been copy and pasted for God only knows how long. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, it's just been a copy and paste the entire time. And it's like, Treyarch and Sludgehammer, or I think it was um, Slu Sludgehammer Games. Was it Sludgehammer all the time? No, there's something else. I can't. I can't remember the name of it right now. Who made Who made Mon Who made Modern Warfare Three or Modern Warfare Two? Who made MW Two Two Thousand Nine? Infinity Ward. That was that was the other one. So Sludgehammer and Infinity Ward. They had, to me, they had the most innovative games out there. T hands down. I know you. everyone's being like, yeah, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, blah, blah, blah. No. They, everything from Black Ops 1 to Black Ops 3 was all, especially multiplayer, was pretty much just a copy and paste from what worked in Modern Warfare 2009 and Modern Warfare 3. That's literally all it was. You can say whatever you want. That's literally what it is. Like, they literally have exact re replicas of Killstreaks from Modern Warfare 2, just different names. And they, they like, look different. They're just reskinned. But they do the same shit. <laughs> like, the Chopper Gunner in, like, Black Ops 2 did the same shit as the Chopper Gunner in, in fucking Modern Warfare 2. It's the same thing. So that's that's why you, you can't just sit here and be like, yeah, it's it, Black Ops 2 is the best. Like, it's not. It's not the best. It had good qualities. But, like, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare were the the reason why Call of Duty is so big today. They were the starting point. That was their launch. That was their, like, launch off of the fucking rock into into space. Like, that's what, that's what it was. That was to the moon were those games. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Modern Warfare, like, the original one. Modern Warfare 2019, again, another Modern Warfare title, and Modern Warfare 2 now, probably, and going to be Modern Warfare 3 soon, those titles, they're just reliving the same titles over and over again. Like, they may remake Black Ops 1 and 2, but they're going to remake the Modern Warfare titles because those were the biggest hits first. It's, it's just that's just facts and i'm sorry if you don't agree with that but that is just facts they're remaking those games I, it, i'm gonna be honest they may not even remake Bl black ops 2 i mean at the rate that we're going they may do it just because they want to cash in on some people's nostalgia but at the end of the day like if it doesn't make any money they're not going to remake that game ever again like they're they made money they're making money and they made money on mono for 2019 and then Mo mono for two 2022 so they're cashing on on those titles because they again they were these titles that brought them from nothing to something like call of duty was nothing before um before mono for the first one okay I hate to say it. World that War was awesome, though. I'll, I'll admit, because that was the first sign of zombies. But zombies wouldn't have been anything if it wasn't for the few developers in in Treyarch that just decided that they were going to make a war a zombies game. That was an afterthought. And then all of a sudden, it became the biggest thing in the world. Right? So... But... The core issue here is that a lot of the games are copy and pasted. And now we're definitely copying and pasting. Like, they're using Captain Price again. They're using Soap. Like, it, dude. <laughs> you know, it's like, they've been copying and pasting since the first original Modern Warfare. Like, way back when I was in high school. Okay, which was like 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago. 15 years ago, I believe, at this point. 
So that that's the thing. It's like they're just redoing what works. And the, the, they're doing the same thing with the code. They're doing, they're doing the same thing with the games themselves. This is not going to get any better. And if they're trying to sell the Microsoft, that's all they're try- That's what they're doing. They're trying to get their out, which is probably also why they're ceasing assisting er- everyone, right? So they're trying to get in good graces not only with Microsoft but with the, the community, so that Microsoft isn't just like deaded after, you know, after they get after they sell Activision to them. I don't know what Microsoft plan what what Microsoft's plans are, but typically whenever a company gets acquired, it usually gets worse. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how much worse this game could get or this franchise could could get at this point, right? So I pfft, no idea. But let me let me go in let let me go in here and let me show you the two TikToks. Maybe I'll just show you one because they're kind of both very similar. Um of kind of like this whole thing, right? Of of a good encompass of what's happening. Okay? Let's lower this volume so it's not screaming in, in your ear. Activision strikes again with another cease and desist, but this time on X Labs after only a few days ago hitting SM2 with one. And with the direction this is going, I don't think we're going to be seeing Plutonium for much longer. For X Labs, this means you won't be playing Modern Warfare 2, Ghosts, AW, and the recent BO3 client that just started to take off. And if they hit Plutonium next, there goes BO1, BO2, Modern Warfare 3, and World of War. Because you know damn well you're not finding a full lobby on the original games anymore. Not to mention the complete security risks that Activision fails to fix that Plutonium and X Labs keeps you safe from where people can RCE you to take control of your PC and access personal files, constant hackers that are always on the game, and people hitting you off. It's crazy that Activision is so insecure about these clients being up when people are just trying to relive the golden days of Call of Duty and provide to the community who Activision apparently gives no fucks about. I get you need to make money off cosmetics, but if you just focused on making the game good and listening to the community, maybe people would be on your game, more eyes on the store, and more willing to purchase it in order to support a company that cares, but apparently you Fucking don't. Obviously, they have every right to do this, but if all it takes is just a few developers to make a game like SM2, imagine how easy it would be for Call of Duty with their billions to create a game similar, or even just hire the team to continue going. It still makes me laugh that they're so scared I, of their I, game I, I, I that said if that, you create so. a Call of Duty map within Fortnite, they'll even copyright that. The community's had enough of Activision, and if you guys want to keep sharing this, maybe eventually they'll drop a statement, or maybe we'll finally push them to make that COD that we've all been asking for. Maybe they'll finally see how much this means to us. Activision. So now, so, so now, with that being said, with that, with that video being there now, right? Maybe they are trying to actually redeem themselves in general. Maybe this is something that Microsoft has been planning. You know, maybe they're like, let's start implementing this now before the, before the, the acquisition. I doubt it. But something that maybe they're trying to do. So like, he was saying that like these other two companies, if they, you know, X Labs, if they get, you know, once they're done, like you can't play the other games, and 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 plutonium, you can't play the other games safely anymore, right? You can't play the older games sa- safely, like like at all. So maybe they're going to go back now and try to pretty much create like classic games, a classic setup where they're supporting it. They have their own specific teams of maybe five or ten people that kind of keep the game safe, right? This might be something that they might be doing. My again, Microsoft might be implementing this, right? I, I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm trying to look at the bright side too. Not only, not only. I'm trying not to look at just the negatives. I'm trying to look at the positives too. That would be a very redeeming quality that they could definitely work work with, and I, and I think everybody could get on board with them, just kind of bringing together what actually needs to be done. Right. We we really want this to happen. We we really want all the Call of Duty's to be safe to play, and we could go back to play whatever. Call of Duty we want throughout the franchise. Like, just, I, I would even I would even take World at War and after. Like, Call of Duty three was okay. You know, like Call of Duty two, big 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 red one, and like the Call of Duty two and Call of Duty one. Like, those were okay. Like, those weren't amazing, right? The graphics weren't good. Call of Duty three graphics were okay, but f- compared to now, they were sh- they're shit. Obviously, and even World World at War graphics are shit now compared to what we have now. So, but anyway, um, I think that would be a really redeeming quality if they're actually trying to do this. But if they but if they aren't then it's like, you know, what the fuck's the point, right? So what are we doing here at, at, at the end of the day? I, I I want to give them the benefit of the doubt in some cases, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to give them any time, money, or anything like that, and you should not either if you are trying to fight or stand against what they're doing, right? 
I'm looking at the negative side. I, I was looking at the negative sides in the in, in the beginning of this podcast, but now we're looking at a little bit more positive. Maybe they're trying. Maybe they will bring S SM two. He he mentions that in in this video too. I forgot to uh, say his name. Uh, I can't pronounce that. I'm gonna butcher the shit out of that. So W H O H T T V. Whoa, 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 T T T T V. If that's how you say it, um, you know he's. He says that, like he he says it in the video, like that you know. It's like if you if they are going to start now focusing on making a better game, that's something that is going to be a redeemable quality, and they're going to be fixing their other games, supporting them. Then people will actually want to flock to to your game, flock to your you know to your stores, actually want to spend spend money. Because I'm gonna be honest, I've never wanted to spend money with Call of Duty. Because what what we've gotten, like in the stores and everything, what we've gotten has just been literally crap like i would be more willing to spend money with apex or with fortnite because it's just like it just feels like an overall be better experience because it always feels like they're always putting out new skins new new you know new new weapon uh bu bundles for overpowered shit and then you know at first it was like maybe it was an accident right but then like it started to just get really you know Every time, it was like every single time, something new happened. Like there was a new rose skin that had a problem. There was like a dark skin that you could like, you know, you know, exploit fucking lighting in the game. And they're like, oh, let's put a twenty dollars skin in the game. It's like, listen, after a certain point, stop buying the game, stop buying the cosmetics. Because I'm gonna tell you something, it's cool, yeah, but at the end of the day, you are going to be very sorry that you wasted your time on this stuff right i do not want the community to keep going down this path i want us to go down a better path that's going to make our gaming experience better especially on a game that we all love right and as history shows it like they're just remaking games remaking code and they're just feeding us the same shit and we're just we're eating it we're eating it up calling it caviar and at the end of the day we do not want that we want them to be innovative we want them to change we want them to make you know real change like and i'm not talking about <coughs> you know warzone 2 and them pretty much you know taking the um like the looting system from a bag to fucking throw up loot like that's not a real change like if you think that's a real change you're eating that shit and you are enjoying it very well like you are eating good shit is my is my point, right? You need to understand that if they are making small changes like that and the community is going wild for it, there is a problem. We need to make them have a better idea on what games to make. They need to they need to try harder to make a better Call of Duty game instead of just remaking the same shit, putting some jetpacks in it and being like, "Yep, here it is." No. We need a game that's innovative. We need different game modes that, that are innovative. Bring back the classics. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, have a boots on the ground mode. Have a jetpack mode. You know, like, have have um, demolition back. Have, you know, do, you know the classic do, domination and team deathmatch. You know, have the, you know. We, we have to really make them think about these types of things instead of just releasing a game every year. That's another issue. Releasing a game every single year. That's a problem at, at the end of the day because they're, they're just going to keep releasing a game if you're just going to keep buying it. So stop buying the game every year. I love Modern Warfare. I love the Modern Warfare titles, but I'm not going to get Modern Warfare 3. Not just because of this the f whole fiasco that's going on with Nick Mark's SM2, all the fucking cease and desist letters they're, they're, they're sending, but because I don't, I'm just, I'm tired of the same game reskinned. I'm, I'm tired of it. I don't want to see that anymore. I love the franchise. I love the company. But the problem is, is that the people probably in power don't give a shit anymore. They just want to sell the place. And that's it. And that's where I said before, maybe, maybe Microsoft will come in and do a better job. I don't know. But again, typically... In 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 accus in in um in in a company being acquired usually does not go for for the better. They typically get rid of everyone, or they typically get get rid of the good talent, or it makes the good talent leave. And that's what we don't need. We need the good talent to stay within this game so that they can fight for people like us. That's also why I was so pissed about SM2 and now these other com companies too, X Labs. Like 
we need people like this. We need companies that are willing to, you know, listen to the community and bring us the best product possible and not just keep giving us the same reskin garbage. Please leave, please leave a like on the podcast and share with as many people as you possibly can. Share your comments down below. I appreciate you. 